This is one of the reasons why I think the chances of getting a recession in Australia is really low. Um, I'm, I'm in a, a room of lawyers. My lawyers tell me that I'm not allowed to say you can't have a recession because you never know you might get one. But what is this? This is the export volumes of LNG. You might have thought the big mining boom was all about iron ore. It was mainly about LNG. What that graph's showing you is in the next 18 months, we go from 5% of the world's LNG exports to 25. They're just contracts. They're not their full production. That's about 80% of what they're going to produce. First thing I should say is they're all losing money on it. Okay? But they've built these things. They've built LNG platforms, most of them on a long-term contract basis tied to the oil price, and the oil price they've mainly turned, price, priced it to is 80 bucks. Oil prices are not 80 bucks today. So GDP counts actual output, not whether you're making any money on it. Um, and in case you didn't see it, Santos wrote one and a half billion US off on one of their platforms the other day. But it means that this adds 2% to GDP. All right? So what I'm really saying is for an Australian economy to get a recession, you need the domestic part of the economy to go backwards at 2%. I don't think that's very likely. We're going to get some GDP numbers in a couple of weeks' time, and it's going to be small because you get lumpy movements about when the exports go out and down. But generally, um, that is not the big issue. The big issue is essentially the next chart, which is this. The red line there is basically mining investment as a percent of GDP. So if you think of the mining boom, I say to people all the time, think of a mining boom as having three phase. Phase one, prices go up and nobody expected, and so you get a lot of money. Phase two, the miners then decide they're going to build a lot of iron ore or mines or LNG platforms. Phase three is they stop produce, in, investing to produce that, and they export it. Where we're at is we're just about moving into the export phase. So what happens is you do not need to be rebuilding new mines. And that essentially says that 50% of Australians' business investment is going to be going backwards at about 20% per annum for the next four or five years. So unless you figure out a way to get the domestic economy to offset that, you end up with 2% growth and nothing domestically which means unemployment goes up. So even though we've got, all got forecasts out there of 3% GDP, what we're really saying is domestic demand's one, which is why the Reserve Bank is talking about trying to increase rates, why they get nervous about if the currency goes high and makes us uncompetitive. The story is all about keeping the domestic economy growing. 